Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Teemo, the Swift Scout. Teemo is a ranged champion with a number of builds, including mage as well as physical or magical DPS. In this spotlight, I'll be covering a couple of DPS builds, but don't be afraid to experiment with your own. Teemo's passive is Camouflage. If Teemo stands still for a few seconds, he becomes invisible. Any action from this state will remove the invisibility and give Teemo a temporary attack speed buff. Blinding Dart damages and blinds target enemy, rendering all basic attacks useless for a short time. I grab a point here at level 2 and max it last. Move Quick is a passive active ability. As long as Teemo has not been struck by a champion or turret in a while, he enjoys bonus movement speed. When activated, Teemo gains a much stronger movement speed boost that lasts a few seconds and is not interrupted by damage. I take Move Quick at level 3 and max it by level 13. Toxic Shot passively causes Teemo's basic attacks to deal bonus damage and poison the target. This poison deals extra damage over a few seconds. I max Toxic Shot by level 9. Teemo's ultimate is Noxious Trap, which places an invisible poisonous mushroom on the ground. Enemies who step over the mushroom cause it to explode, damaging and slowing surrounding enemies for a few seconds. Noxious Trap is placed on an ammo system. Teemo may store up to three mushrooms and place them in quick succession. As with all ultimates, I rank it at levels 6, 11, and 16. Your very early laning should focus on harassing your opponent while last hitting. Always try to land a basic attack into Blinding Dart to whittle down your opponent. As Lee Sin comes into gank, I see he heads toward the bottom of the brush, so I head towards the top to cut off Akali's escape. As he runs, I hit a basic attack and Blinding Dart, then follow Lee Sin to the turret. Because I follow in, he jumps to me with Safeguard and lives with First Blood. As Akali returns to lane, I use the same playstyle. Each time she closes to attack, I tag her with Toxic Shot and Blinding Dart. Once she lays Twilight Shroud, I know she wants to attack me, so I stop her from triggering Mark of the Assassin with Blinding Dart. Every time she breaks out, I hit her with Toxic Shot again. I then stay out of range until her Shroud is about to end. I push in, taking her down with basic attacks and Blinding Dart. After Akali reaches level 6, she jumps me in lane. Blinding Dart prevents her from triggering Mark of the Assassin, and I immediately place a Noxious Trap and hide behind it to keep Akali away. As she runs, I chase into the brush, immediately dropping another Noxious Trap and tagging her with Blinding Dart. I keep attacking her and exhaust once the blind runs out, ensuring she can't deal enough damage as she dies to my poisons. Here I'm fighting Talon and Heimerdinger at top lane. I place a Noxious Trap in a place where I can fight and hold position. Standing atop the mushroom, I push into Talon with Blinding Dart and basic attacks, causing him to trigger my trap with Cutthroat and die immediately to Lee Sin and myself. As we push in on Heimerdinger, the enemy Lee Sin comes in, so I blind him and cause him to retreat. I take down Lee Sin with basic attacks and blinding dart, but unfortunately get jumped by Akali in the aftermath. With Madrid's Bloodraiser, Teemo is an exceptional Baron threat. As we prepare to take it, I drop noxious traps in the routes our opponents must take to stop us. With the traps in place, I head in to start fighting. All I have to do here is keep attacking and watch two things. The movement of my enemies in the minimap, and green bubbles that Baron Nasher occasionally spawns underneath his attackers. You can see it here under Taric, knocking him up and preventing him from dealing any damage. Always make sure to dodge these attacks. Teemo is also an exceptional anti-assassin champion. In a teamfight in mid, I spot a Kali heading in. Blinding Dart and basic attacks completely stop her ability to kill Lee Sin. If it weren't for Soraka's wish, she'd have died to my Noxious Trap on the way out. Immediately after, I tag Talon with Exhaust, also stopping him from hurting my team until he flashes away to the low health Evelyn. Right after that, the enemy Lee Sin comes in also looking for blood, but Blinding Dart stymies his aggression as well. Let's look over on Dominion now. Because I itemize her early game so much, 1v1ing an enemy Teemo at bottom lane is extremely easy. By positioning myself closer to the health relic, I kill him with 500 health to spare. Winning this fight allows me to take the enemy Boneyard with ease. After capturing the Boneyard later in the game, I get jumped by Nocturne. Noxious Trap and Blinding Dart keep me from dying, and I create distance with Flash into Move Quick. He keeps chasing me to my capture point, so I hide behind two Noxious Traps and tag him with Blinding Dart. He falls, and I make a run for the Health Relic, buying time until my team shows up to hold control of the point. Teemo's extreme mobility can also be used to save teammates. Here I respawn and see a Rakali about to be caught by Ramus's Powerball. 
I rush in with move quick and save the day, also killing Ramis and the enemy Teemo before the match ends. For runes, I take armor penetration marks, health per level seals, flat magic resist glyphs, and flat health quintessences. This setup is aimed at giving me a lot of power early and turning into a very durable champion late game. My masteries are 9-21-0, taking magic penetration and offense and heading all the way down the defense tree, taking everything but dodge. I take exhaust and flash for summoner spells, mastering the former in the offense tree. I max Toxic Shot right away, adding a point in Blinding Dart at level 2 and leaving it there. After Toxic Shot, I max Move Quick before taking more points into Blinding Dart. Maxing Toxic Shot gives me the most consistent damage output, while the one point in Blinding Dart still gives me enough blind to force enemies away from me. In Classic, I open with a Doran's Blade, adding more throughout the laning phase. I typically take Mercury Treads and work up to Madrid's Blood Razor as my first major damage item. I then add Frozen Mallet, Malady, Wit's End, and Atma's Impaler to flesh out my build, giving me a lot of durability and great damage output. In Dominion, I open with a Prospector's Blade and Boots of Speed. I upgrade immediately to Mercury Treads and work on Sanguine Blade. I build for Kiting with Phantom Dancer and Frozen Mallet, finally adding Last Whisper and another Phantom Dancer to round out my build. Thanks for tuning in to the Teemo Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.